to Dukapon Castle! You just have to fight dirty to get to the top.
In Rubber Bandits, you can play online to beat each other up and find out who's the ultimate bandit. Prepare for hilarious physics-based combat with wacky weapons and a huge lineup of criminally charming characters. Or gather your family and friends and play locally with Couch Multiplayer. In Rubber Bandits, anything you can find can be used as a weapon. From office chairs to laser swords and other bandits. Join Crime Spree to compete against other players in different game modes. And vote on which game mode to play next between rounds. For example, Heist, where you need to escape from the crime scene with as much loot as possible before the cops arrive. The crime spree is over when the first bandit gets to 21 points and awards are handed out. The loot you earn can be used to create all sorts of fantastic outfits. Rubber Bandit supports crossplay. Share the lobby code with your friends. They can join you no matter what platform they're playing on. You can also play against AI in Rubber Bandit. This happens in arcade mode and can be played solo or in co-op mode as a team. So, what are you waiting for? Get your mask on and join the bandits. Are you interested in a thrilling adventure? Full of role playing and relationship building. How about some tactical turn based combat? Then I've got just what you're looking for. It's the Fire Emblem series of games. 
In the Fire Emblem Engage game, there are over 30 characters to meet, befriend, and battle alongside. You'll find that everyone here has their own unique personality and backstory. From sword fighters and cavalry units to armored units and magic users, there are plenty to choose from, and it's no easy decision selecting who you'd like to grow alongside. With care and consideration, even the weakest ally can grow into a reliable powerhouse. Oh, I am so proud of her. It's up to you to help your allies grow, so change up their equipment to best suit them and build the army that marches to the beat of your drum. That's what the Fire Emblem series is all about. The real action in Fire Emblem begins on the battlefield. Start by selecting your team. Choose who you want to move, pick their opponent, then grab a weapon to unleash an attack. Once all of your allies have acted, it's the enemy's turn. You'll take turns back and forth throughout the battle. But once you achieve your goal, such as defeating the enemy commander, victory will be yours. There are so many different types of units you can bring into battle. Cavalry units have a wide range of movement. Armored units have high defense. Archers? and magic users can attack from a distance. And Pegasus Knights can fly over different terrain. Even water. They all bring their own advantages to combat as well. Now, it can be tempting to only send out your favorites, but you might want to consider a more balanced team when the battle calls for it. For example, Armored units are resistant to physical attacks, but weak to magic. Flying units, such as Pegasus Knights, easily fall to bows. Axe wielders are ineffective against swords, lances are weak against axes, and so on. You get the idea. Be careful when moving your units around the map, or they might find themselves at a disadvantage. Of course, that means you'll have the upper hand if you plan around your enemy's weaknesses. I know, I know, it's all a bit much, but there are plenty of features to help first-timers figure it out. Like this. You can choose to have a red line appear when you're in range of a foe's attack. That means you probably shouldn't send your units there. You can also check the super useful battle forecast before you commit to an attack. This shows how much HP will be lost, who attacks first, and you can see which weapon will be most effective. Even with all that help, if you make a move that ends up being not so good, you can sometimes turn back time and take that one again. It's bad news for your foes, but good news for your beloved allies. By participating in battles, your units can earn experience points and level up. They'll earn even more experience when they defeat an enemy. So I recommend using a powerful ally to weaken your foes, then let whoever you're trying to level up deliver that final blow. Thanks for the there are also ways to strengthen your allies, like equipping them with powerful weapons to raise their attack stat, training with them in the arena, or by using certain items. Oh, look at that! A skirmish appeared on the map. You can choose to fight these random battles as many times as you want to gain experience, no matter what else is happening in the game's story. Looking for even more from your units? Try changing their class. 
their starting classes are predetermined, but you can use specific items to reclass them in a way that better suits your army. If a unit's class changes, their fighting style will change along with it. And if they reach level 10 or higher, your units can be promoted to an advanced class. Advanced classes allow them to wield more powerful weapons. And they'll get a boost to their stats. Plus, they'll get to change up their style. Who doesn't love a makeover? Looking good, team! Promote your units to stronger classes, help them grow to fit your fighting style, and form the most powerful army your own way. If your allies fight side by side, or heal each other in battle, they'll grow closer. And you might even get to see them share a support conversation. These special events can sometimes reveal more about their backstories. The closer they grow, the more your allies will share. You'll get to know them better, and they might get to know each other better as well. Close allies are also useful on the battlefield. If two allies who share a connection are next to each other, they can help each other out in battle. It's important to remember, the army that slays together stays together. You need pruning. So, how do you feel? I think you're ready to make some friends and fall in love with the world of Fire Emblem. Are you gonna focus on a few favorites? Or are you a balanced tactician who appreciates all your allies equally? What classes will you assign? And what style of combat will you focus on? It's all up to you. The decisions are yours to make. And the relationships are yours to foster in Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Engage. Available January 20th only on Nintendo Switch. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Al Haytham told you he's a feeble scholar, did he? <laughs> well, that's a bold-faced lie. Told you. Hmm, so his false modesty was just a facade to hide his true abilities? Absolutely. He doesn't want others knowing his true strength. Well, how strong is he? Stronger than you? Of course not. You know, I actually ran into him last week while I was in the desert looking for creative inspiration. If he was going out there to study ancient runes anyway, why didn't he travel with me? We could have split the cost. Frankly, however strong he is or isn't, you just don't want to mess with him. I thought you'd have learned to think before you speak by now. Ugh, we didn't say anything bad. All positive, actually. Surely you didn't drag me out just to play cards. <laughs> we didn't get that far yet. We were just debating how good you'd be in a fight. You keep your cards close to your chest. Not at all. So you don't fight much? Yeah, right. With his temper? I don't need to fight. I only need to think. Everything is connected. All I have to do is find the weakest link. 
deal with the causal factors, and everything else tends to resolve itself. The process of elimination. Essentially, more time on contemplation, less time on execution. Simple, isn't it? <sighs> Not really. really. Oh, I knew we shouldn't have brought this up with you. I thought my answer was quite engrossing. Boss, this is good wine. I'll have the same, please. The British forces. Flexible. Well-rounded. Resilient. They can count on their tenacious soldiers, their indomitable resolve, and their Commonwealth allies to fight through any combat scenario. The British forces' adaptable units and artillery support make them flexible and efficient. They can shrug off assaults by entrenching weapons before striking with a mix of vehicles, and battle-hardened infantry. Stubborn and resilient, the British can bring the fight to the enemy or let them take a shot, hunker down, and keep on fighting as long as it takes to come out on top. Carnivorous diet isn't good for you. Everything in balance, all in moderation. Yes, Dee. You sound like my mother. Remember what you taught me, Master Juva? When it matters most, be true to your heart, not to your eyes or nose. Oh, Chet, one day you will be a hunter. A protector of the island, culling any creatures who threaten its balance. Every living thing devours life. I've killed for food, sure. Never for hatred's sake. It approaches, I take it, the night of the Scarlet Moon. Flee! It's too strong! Come on! You wanna fight? Ochet can set monsters upon townspeople to provoke them into battle. Good job. She can also befriend people with delicious food and take them along. In battle, Ochet can summon monsters or capture new ones. She can also turn them into items. Activate her latent power to let her inner beast loose, allowing her to use powerful skills. You must go, Ochet. The island must be prepared to face this peril by gathering the three creatures of legend. I'll do it. I'll find those creatures of legend and bring them back. These people are suffering. I must help them. As long as I can heal the sick, who I am is ultimately trivial. I'm sorry, but 
I really can't remember anything. Then how did you diagnose and treat that boy? It seems my hands still remember their craft. Out! You're one of them, aren't you? Heirs apothecaries! A likely story! We're on to you! Who I was and what I've done, I cannot say. Nevertheless, right now all I want is to help the people of this town. Casty can inquire to obtain information from townspeople. Thank you. She can also use the medicine she has on hand to soothe them to sleep. In battle, Casti can concoct hazardous and healing compounds. Boosting allows her to add more materials to the mix. Activate her latent power, and she can concoct without using any materials. <laughs> you haven't changed one whit, Casti. You've got some guts, Bone Mender. It is our purpose to extend a helping hand to all those in need. Something terrible happened in that place. Some awful tragedy. I need to remember. Each traveler's tale has a unique structure. Take the hunter Ochet, for example. She must choose which companion to bring on her adventure. The merchant Particio can head to his next objective or follow the scent of commerce. Throne, the thief, must decide whether to confront mother or father first. You are free to choose their path as you see fit. Side stories await you on your journey, and the tales of fellow travelers intertwine in crossed paths. You might even obtain rare items or discover new jobs along the way. The direction their travels take is in your hands. I wonder what it'll be. Where will you go? Which path will you take? Who will you share the road with? Every choice is yours to make. Octopath Traveler 2, February 24th, 2023. Embark on an adventure all your own. And I closed my Mother! You must not allow them to capture any more of the rings. Gather together all twelve rings. No! Please! They're corrupted. They're everywhere. Divine One! You mustn't do this alone! This journey will be a long one. Our kingdom is in danger. Will you help us? I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I'm Diamant, Crown Prince of Brody. I hope you're hungry for fun! <laughs> <laughs> 
I will now take your lives. My friends, it's time to fight! You're in our way. Now stand aside! We have to rescue Mark and the others! Many have sought to steal the rings and use them for their own nefarious purposes. Here he comes. The time has come! Arth! Or is that an emblem of legend? Each emblem has their own abilities. You can call upon their unique powers and skills. Everyone, engage with emblems! Emblem, engage! I sense the Fell Dragon's presence. He's waiting for us. We have to stop Sombron. Was that a <laughs> In a land inside a smartphone, a first person adventure begins. Follow a story about the update oh, and rogue operating system who wants to cut 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 the game is launching in three weeks we don't have time for a trailer we need to check if everything's in place let's sum it up shall we clever puzzles what's a good adventure game without puzzles right check cheat codes to manipulate the environment just remember not to delete the data copy. It's already running out. You literally just make it appear? Check. A variety of app characters. Oh, sorry. You know it's the process is toilets, right? Look at them all working for me and the system, I guess. Check. Numerous collectibles. Better catch them all. <laughs> can we can we use that? Check. Unproductive and useless humor. Oh, wow, where are my manners? Uh, <clears throat> that's a check. You wishlisting the game? Well, did you? And a check. Let's do this. Devolver Tumble Time. It's all of your favourite Devolver Digital characters made adorable in the pursuit of profit. And it's free! We had to get a little weird with it though, but we'll let you find that out for yourself. Tumble Time is a physics-based match-free game. Each level has its own goals and challenges to focus on at the expense of your own real-life goals and challenges. Detonate explosives! Work yourself into a high-scoring fever mode. Use items, you clod! Just go bananas, and the game will reward you with stuff! Make levelling up your Devolver Digital character into your new life's work, so that you can unlock more Devolver Digital characters that you can then level up, each with their own special abilities. But that's not all. We crammed a whole bunch of junk into Tumble Time that you'll flipping love. Daily challenges where you can flex your skills, weekly maps with boss fights, and a mysterious quest given to you by everyone's favourite CFO, Fork Parker. I approve this message. Get ready to dust off all your favourite Devolver Digital characters and put them to work. Now, someone please get that dashed song out of my head. Tumble time, tumble time, pick up your phone, it's tumble time. Tumble time, it's tumble time, pick up your phone, it's tumble time. Devolver tumble time, squander your precious time on Earth.
These vampires are getting out of control, and it's all Deadpool's fault. Don't be so harsh on him, Sarah. He's super brave and super awesome and super handsome. Wisecracking anti-hero. This is a robbery. Or... Well, guess what, everybody? Ah! Whatever. I'm adaptable. Jimmy, my frickin' chuggers. Mortals! A magna core ego is eternal! Blah, blah, blah. Quick! What? can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. Look, Ma, I'm gonna be DLC! The shadows would claim you if you were left to drown in their darkness. Your soul does not belong to it, at least not yet. You are meant for a higher purpose. Accompany me, follow me, protect me, and perhaps I will grant you salvation. Muster your defense. Unleash your powers and defeat our foes. Stand alone or together. Only success will redeem your souls. The hordes of hell come for us. Scribe Alhatham can be the easiest person in the academia to communicate with, or the most frustrating. He ignores the irrelevant and filters out the fluff, focusing solely on the logical steps and appropriate process for the task ahead. For his more pragmatic colleagues, this makes him a joy to work with, though not everyone shares their enthusiasm. Let's get down to business. Most scholars would jump at the opportunity to use a vision to further their research, and I thought Alhatham would be no exception. Yet to my surprise, he prefers to use his elemental powers not for research, but to deal with other issues that arise in life. Thinking a step ahead of everyone else is bound to reap benefits. When Alhatham crafts weapon ascension materials, he has a chance to receive double the product, boosting the party's adventure readiness. Alhatham's normal attack can combo up to five strikes with his sword, dealing physical damage. Using his charged attack, Alhatham consumes a certain amount of stamina and performs two swift slashes to his front, dealing physical damage. Tap Alhatham's elemental skill to rush forward, dealing dendro damage to nearby enemies when the rush ends, as well as creating a chisel-like mirror. Holding the skill enters aiming mode to adjust the direction of the attack. When this skill is cast, Alhatham generates one chisel light mirror, plus one additional mirror if he possessed no mirrors at the time of casting. Up to three chisel light mirrors can exist at one time. While he possesses chisel light mirrors, Alhatham's normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to dendro damage that cannot be overridden. 
When one of these attacks hits an enemy, the Chisel Light Mirrors unleash a projection attack that deals AoE Dendro damage based on the number of mirrors on the field. Chisel Light Mirrors will disappear in turn over time and will all disappear when Alhaithen leaves the field. After unlocking the talent for Causal Correction, when Alhatham's charged and plunging attacks hit enemies, they will generate one Chisel Light Mirror. This effect can only occur once in a specified period. A process of elimination. Alhatham's Elemental Burst creates a particular binding field that deals multiple instances of AoE Dendro damage. If any Chisel Light Mirrors exist when this ability is used, they are all consumed to increase the number of damage instances dealt. Shortly after this ability has finished, if no mirrors were consumed, then Alhatham will generate three new mirrors. For every mirror that was consumed by this skill, Alhatham will generate one less new mirror accordingly. When surrounded by mirrors, it takes a perceptive eye to distinguish reality from reflection. After unlocking the talent Mysteries Laid Bare, each point of elemental mastery that Alhatham possesses increases the damage dealt by his projection attacks and elemental bursts. Damage can only be increased in this way up to a certain limit. To Alhatham, remaining rational under pressure is the key to solving difficult problems. Luckily for him, this is an ability that few of his foes possess. Alhatham's combat strategy is centered around the efficient use of his chisel light mirrors. His elemental skill allows him to quickly traverse the battlefield, while dealing dendro damage to enemies and generating chisel light mirrors. Then Alhatham can use these mirrors and their projection attacks to easily gain the upper hand. When energy is full, Alhatham unleashes his elemental burst, creating the particular binding field and dealing several bouts of AoE Dendro damage. If he possesses no Chiselite mirrors at this time, some are generated after he has used his burst, allowing him to follow up with more attacks. If he already has mirrors when he casts his burst, then he is able to deal more Dendro damage and swiftly seize victory. A comfortable life looks much the same for everyone, but the people who lead those lives may be nothing alike at all. A sharp mind and a good attitude have benefited Alhatham immensely in his pursuit of the good life. It is not my place to judge how other people live. If anything, the more I say, the more jealous I would sound. The truth is, I have nothing against a laid-back lifestyle. It reminds me of a simpler time. But unfortunately, not all creatures are capable of being rational and logical in everything they do. Alhatham's approach only works in the context of his relatively simple existence, and that is completely fine by him.